Hey everybody, I'm Danielle Lauch, and today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about something that I think a lot of us are thinking about, especially this time of the year. The holidays are right around the corner, and we are ready to see some results to maybe fit into a special dress, skirt, pair of pants, whatever that is. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about is how to get thinner in three weeks. I totally believe that we can all do this. I know how my body responds and I know in my experience how others' bodies respond as well. So what I'm going to do is ask you to follow a few of these tips and then get back to me and let me know how it went for you for these three weeks. And of course, as always, comment below and let me know any other questions that you have, specifically regarded to how to get thinner in three weeks. Okay, so tip number one. Make time every day to be active. Seems easy, right? But a lot of times, especially this time of year, it's probably one of the things that we just skip because we have extra cooking to do, extra shopping to do, things to go, you know, places to go. Things are just all around us this time of year. So what you need to do for the next three weeks, no matter what, even if it's 20 minutes, make time for you to be active. Getting into the gym and taking one of those amazing classes that you like is a sure way to help you to get thinner because you're surrounded with other people that are doing the same thing. They're fun. You know, there's nothing wrong with getting on a treadmill, too, if that's what you choose. Just, you know, my personal preference is get in that class and feel that energy and see how many more calories you can burn by bringing your arms up and down. You know, doing, doing those exercises together motivates you to do more. Okay? So... Maybe it's going for a walk. Maybe you have stairs in your house and you're going to go up and down the stairs. Whatever you need to do to get some calories burned every day. Okay? Tip number two is eating healthy. Yeah, I know. This time of year, lots of stuff around you, right? If it's important to you, yeah. Right? If it's important to you, how you look and how you feel inside and out, because you know it's not always about the way you look. To some of us it is. And to others it's really the feeling inside, knowing that our heart is healthier and all that. So what I want you to think about is making sure you're listening to tip number two and you're eating healthy every day. Yes, some things can be in moderation. What I'm talking about is getting thinner in three weeks so you are ready for the holidays. So go ahead, pick those healthy foods that you're going to have each day, making sure that you are blending your proteins with some healthy carbohydrates, okay, fruits and vegetables, and those things in to at least five small meals a day. It's going to make a huge difference for you. So that kind of goes into my next step. That step is cutting out things like wheat, possibly all wheat, all gluten, and focusing on things like eating healthy rice with your chicken instead of, you know, breads and things like that. Also, focus on getting in vegetables with every meal. Drink water before every meal. Helps you feel fuller. It does. It really helps. So think about that with the foods that you have. So that goes into the next tip. No fast food. No eating out. Buy your food. Bring it home. Prepare your food. You can do it. I'm doing it. You can do it. You're going to notice a big difference. Not only in... Uh, your budget <laughs> financially, but also 
your waistline and your hips and all that. So concentrating on getting in healthy foods, no fast foods, no processed foods, no junk. Three weeks, you can do it, and you're going to know that when the holiday has come, you're probably going to let yourself have something. You're going to feel so much better knowing that you took these three weeks to get yourself ready so when the holidays hit, you can have that special something that you've been looking forward to. It doesn't need to be every day up to the holidays. Give yourself that time now so when it comes, you can have that brownie or you can have the alcohol and have a dessert at the same time and feel pretty good about it, knowing that you didn't go overboard before. And that now January means, oh, I've got to lose 10 pounds or I've got to lose 20 pounds. You know what I mean. So I want you to think about that. Listen to those tips again. Write them down. Pen to the paper. It's going to help you to reach your goals because you're writing them down. You're specific about them. So think about what it is for you that you need to eliminate for the next three weeks. Maybe it's the fast food. Maybe it's the cookies whatever that is and set that as a goal for you and put it on your refrigerator and keep it with you. I know you can do it. I'm doing it. I have cut out all gluten, so I'm gluten free now and I've noticed a difference already and it's amazing. So go ahead and comment below. Let me know any questions that you have and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a fabulous day.